Welcome back guys, hope you're doing well today. In my previous video, I went over the concept of what a margin account is and what margin lending is. Basically, you use the equities in your account as collateral to borrow against from your broker. And this allows you, in effect, to double your investments. Now, there is tremendous risk associated with margin lending. I highly recommend you watch that video. In addition, of course, you're paying a fee to your broker. However, when I filmed that video, the markets were closed, so I couldn't do a live example. So in today's video, uh, we're going to do a live example on Charles Schwab, how to uh, do margin lending. And I'm currently filming this video on September 22nd because on the 21st, there was a huge down day. There was a, a bunch of bad news and the markets got spooked. So we had four consecutive down days, but this morning on the 22nd, the markets are back up. So yesterday I decided to do a little swing trading and I didn't have money in my account. So I borrowed against uh, my equity in order to purchase more stocks. And before we look at the stocks, just to understand my numbers, I have about 3,000 in a Roth IRA with Schwab and then 20,000 in my taxable brokerage account. That's how I have a total of 23. And if we click on the balances tab, it tells me once again, the, uh, the equity in the account is worth $20,682. However, the market value is worth 25,774. So what, what I did yesterday is I borrowed $5,000 from Charles Schwab in order to increase my, my positions. Uh, I thought, you know, the, the market had gone down like almost 5% for certain stocks. I thought that was a good opportunity to buy. I didn't have any money in my account. So uh, Schwab, my buddy Chuck Schwab lo loaned me five grand. So I increased my market value to 25. However, in, in equity, I only have 20,000 in the account. And how much more is Schwab willing to loan me? Well, they're willing to loan me 17,000 more dollars. So if the equity is worth 20,682, I can borrow an additional 20,682. That would have me leveraged uh, at 50%. Uh, so let's, let's scroll down and I'll show you where it says, uh, I don't wanna show you my other account number, okay. So equity percent, 80%. So I am 20% leveraged, meaning that 20% of my portfolio uh, was borrowed against uh, from Charles Schwab. And if you want to see what is your margin buying power, you can click on the drop down. Uh, it's telling me once again, I can, for short selling or buying stocks, uh, I can borrow 17,000. For, for, bar for borrowing money to buy mutual funds, only 8,000. There's different requirements for uh, different kinds of securities. And then what percentages am I paying? Once again, you can click on margin rates and these are the effective rates. Because I'm under 25,000, uh, I'm paying the base rate of 6.5% plus 1.825 for an effective APR of 8.325%. So let's click on the positions tab and I'll show you exactly what I bought. There was a bunch of stocks, uh, Associated Bank, Bank OZK, Flagstar Bank, uh, a company called Crane, Cisco, and Vichier Intertech. These are all companies that I've looked at and I thought were interesting and they were down over 5% yesterday. So I thought, hey, might as well uh, jump in on the dip. When you look at uh, what, they've, what they've gained today, some of them are, have continued going down. I guess it's not as, uh, there's not really a snap back like I was hoping. I'm not worried. I'm willing to hold them uh, for a couple days or a couple weeks if I have to. I just have to remember that while my, uh, while my account balance is negative, I am paying interest on that money. But uh, let's say uh, Bank OZK is positive 1.26%. Let's say, hey, I'm happy with whatever profit I'll be taking, $13. So I bought $1,000 and I've gained uh, from my cost basis, $13. Let's say I'm, I'm getting really nervous about this negative account balance, so I wanna close this out. So we can, go, uh, we can go and sell in order to close out this position. So here's Schwab's all-in-one trade tickets. Once again, available to trade zero dollars because my account is negative and I'm entirely borrowing on margin at the moment. And we're gonna sell, we're gonna sell 50 shares of Bank OZK to close out what I bought yesterday on margin lending. And it's telling me I'll get back 1,035.50 and we can go ahead and submit. 
On the review order page, it's, it's telling me that estimated exchange fees, 0.02 cents. That is the interest being paid back. Even though I only borrowed uh, this $1,000 for a day, when this $1,035.98 gets deposited back into my account, it's, it's not money, it's not positive money. It, it automatically, by default, goes to paying off the margin loan required to, um, to buy any stocks that I bought prior to this uh, bank OZK. And that two cents I'm paying is, uh, is the interest on the margin loan for that one day. We'll scroll down and hit place order. If we then click on the history tab, we can review exactly what happened. So I bought OZK yesterday and the price was 20.385. I pay, uh, well, I borrowed $1,019.25. I then sold those 50 shares today at the price of 27337 uh, and the price was 1,036. So the difference between uh, 1,036 and 1019 you know it's like 15 15 dollars however fees and commissions i did pay uh to charles schwab two cents in uh interest uh for the margin loan of course charles schwab is zero fee commissions they charge zero dollars for buying and selling but if you are uh buying or 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 selling on margin there will be uh, a fee associated with how long you were borrowing that money for and of course, in this video, now that I've shown you what this is and how to do it, I just have to give a super strong disclaimer that uh, borrowing against your broker, the full amount of whatever the equities are worth. So if I had $100,000 worth of stocks in my taxable brokerage account, you can't margin lend in an IRA. If I had $100,000 in this account and I fully leveraged uh, $100,000, uh, you, you borrowed, you borrowed a hundred thousand dollars from your broker. That's insane. Um, yes, if you have money, it's easier to get more money. That's generally the rules of our economy, but I, I don't intend on doing this. Like maybe in, in, in very, uh, it, it just feels so risky, right? Uh, so in the, my last video, I covered what a margin call is. So if, if you're leveraged maxed out 50%, then the equity of your stocks declines below 30, you'll get a margin call, meaning Charles Schwab will liquidate your positions at the worst price at the worst time and completely wipe you out in order to get back their money. So it's incredibly risky. Just in uh, February, March, the stock, the stock market dipped by a third. A lot of people maxed out on their margin loans were wiped out. You can't predict the future. Nobody could predict that a pandemic would happen. So if I ever were to margin borrow, uh, I mean, maybe I would do 10 or 20% max. There's no way I would go to the full 50. That is, that is just too risky for me. And I, I don't recommend it for you. Okay guys, if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up so the algorithm knows it's good. In addition, consider subscribing to my channel. I talk about finance and investing issues. And if you have any questions or comments, leave me one down below. I love hearing from you guys. And until the next video, take care.